Somebody worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory Hallelujah. to His name. Praise the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. First, we experience the, the awesomeness of God. And then we get the name change. Praise the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. And then we realize that we are overshadowed. Hallelujah. So no harm can come now your dwelling. Shall we praise the name Amen. of Jesus? That's the Lord. Because we are overshadowed by his boundless love. And this time we are moving on into worship. Because we realize that when we sing of the highest praise, then blessings come down. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Jesus. When we worship him, Thank you, then Jesus. all our circumstances have become plain. Praise the name of Jesus. And this moment we're going to be worshiping the Lord from a true and sincere heart. So you join me. Oh 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, keep the praises Hallelujah. going for the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Jesus. We realize that Hallelujah. he has won the victory. Hallelujah. Death could not hold him down. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, and Jesus. that is who we worship today. Hallelujah. We are worshiping a risen Savior. Thank you, Jesus. We don't worship a dead God. Hallelujah. Because a dead God Thank cannot you, work miracles. Thank you, Jesus. A dead God cannot put food on our tables. A dead God cannot protect Hallelujah. us. We Jesus. worship the true and living God, one who has won the victory over Hallelujah. sin and death, over the Thank grave. You, he has won because Thank he arose. Thank he you, arose. Thank you, Let's Jesus. wave our hands for Jesus Hallelujah. because Thank he you, arose. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. That's the name of Jesus. At this time, we take it a great measure handing over the rest of the service to Sister Yates in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today I'm rejoicing in the God of my salvation because he has made me glad. Worship the Lord with me. Praise the Lord. Stand on your feet and worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He is worthy of all praise. He is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. There is none can compare with him. And today I worship him. I lift him up. I exalt his name because he has made me glad. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today I must greet our host, Pastor, Pastor Edwin Scott, and to all you lovely brethren in Christ, to our musician. Praise the Lord. And of course, to those who are worshiping with us online. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today I say greetings. Praise the Lord. Today I can greet you in the name of Jesus because he has been good. He is worthy of all praise. Yes, today I can say he's a healer. He is a deliverer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know the question asked, how I got over. Today I can say it's all because of Jesus. I need to get a witness in the house. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today I'm standing here because of Jesus. Praise the Lord. When all the way seems dark, when it seems impossible, when it seems like there was no way, Jesus has made a way for me, and today I am rejoicing. Praise the Lord. Amidst my trial, amidst the persecution, amidst temptation, amidst all the days of crying, today I can say praises be to God. I am still here. I am still here, and I am rejoicing. I am glad to know that Jesus had made me glad. He had made a way for me. Praise the Lord. And today I can say, glory be to your name, Jesus. I am rejoicing because he had made me glad. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As we gather today in our divine worship. Yes, yes, yes. We know that the presence of the Lord is here. And I just want to say again, welcome Holy Spirit. And as we go further in our divine worship, we are, I ask that you will just open up your hearts and mind and allow Jesus to take full control. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because I know for sure that a blessing is awaiting us. Praise the Lord. Yes, you have a blessing in store. Do you believe it, church? If you believe me, let me hear you worship the Lord. Let me hear you say hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you something, church. I'm not keeping up the time, but let me 
tell you God is good. And let me tell you something. We must have our own praise because of his goodness. So let me tell you something. When you see me praising God, let me tell you something. When you see me praising God, I just want you to praise him with me because I have my prayers. I know what he has done for me. Praise the Lord. And so today I'm rejoicing because he had made me glad. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. To hope in our divine worshiping proper, I invite you all to stand and turn your hymnal to number 88. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And at the end, I'll do the hope in prayer.
the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to your name, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are brighter than the morning stars. You are fairer, much fairer than the lilies that grow by the way. Lord, you are precious, most precious than gold. Divine God, we come to you just now and worthy and undone. I am nothing, Lord. I am not good. But I ask just now that you will wash me. May you purge me. May you cleanse me so that I will be clean. As I come before you just now on behalf of your sons and your daughter, yes, Lord, we know that you are here with us from we start until now. And we say, welcome, Holy Spirit. We lift you up, Lord. We exalt you. We give you all the glory and the praise that due to your matchless name, Lord, there is none like you. There is none to compare with you. We are alive today, Lord, and it's because of your goodness. And we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for being so good. And as we come just now, may you open up your arms and receive us. Lord, as I stand just now, I pray that you will stand before me. I pray, Lord, that you will anoint me afresh. I pray today you will let self be slain. And let your Holy Spirit take full control. I ask today, Lord, that you will come and take the stage. So that at the end of today, worship, Lord. You will get the glory and the praise. I pray today you will bless your man servant, Pastor Edwin Scott. I pray today that you will anoint him. I pray today you will take a life call from off your altar. And that you will place it on his lips. Yes, Lord, your words. I pray today for a fresh anointing upon his life. So that as he stands to speak your words today, Lord, the words that you have given unto him. I pray today that you will let souls be blessed. In the name of Jesus, may you water his soul today. May you give him a fresh anointing. I pray today that your words will touch some soul. That somebody will realize that Jesus is the Lord. And you are the Savior of mankind. And that there is none Lord can take your place. We exalt you today. Bless even the reading, Lord. Everything that shall be done. We pray that you will allow it to done to the honor and glory of your name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Lord, we glorify you today because you have been good to us. And so we lift you up. And we said, lead on, O King Eternal. Lead on today, Lord. Do something different in this place. Yes, Lord, work a miracle in the name of Jesus. So that your sons and your daughter all around, those who are listening and lying, today, Lord, they will get the blessings. Yes, Lord, the healing. And at the end, Lord, they all will say, it was a blessing to participate. Lord, we exalt you today. We lift you up. Continue to work for us. Continue to lead for us. Because we are depending on you. As we wait today to hear your words. Yes, Lord, prepare our hearts. Prepare us, Jesus. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Be glorified, be exalted. As we continue to look to you and lift you up in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Continue to worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord today? Let me hear you say hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praises be to God. Many today don't have this privilege like you and I. But of course, we are here, we are alive. And of course, we have our praise because God has been good to us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our scripture reading come to us today from Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14 to 18. And at this time, Brother Ricardo Cooper is going to do that read for us. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we bless the Lord? Scripture reading, as was said, is taken from Hebrews chapter 2, reading verse 14 through to verse 18. And it reads, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had power of death, that is the devil. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on himself the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be merciful and faithful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. 18 and last, for in that he himself had suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Ricardo. We honor the word of God by saying amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is the moment when we are going to feast from God's table. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so we know that the Lord has blessed his servant. Yes, we know for sure that the Lord is going to feed us today. We are going to be filled from the word of God. Do you believe it, church? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so as Pastor Scott prepare his way to commentate the stage, praise the Lord. Yes. But I ask the Lord before, take the stage, Lord. Yes, Lord, the Lord is going to go before, and he's going to do something extraordinary in this place. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And while Pastor Scott is preparing to come and take the stage, the praise team, praise the Lord, is going to, the praise team will be coming to grace our hearts. Praise the Lord. So I just want to encourage you all, let us open up our hearts and mind to receive that special blessing that the Lord have in store for all of us today. And at the end of the singing, the next voice to you will be the same as Pastor Scott. Bless the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. I heard that they whipped him. I heard that they stripped him. I heard the sword is to the side. Peter denied him to the sea.
shout glory, shout praises to him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My Jesus set me free when he's wounded. And how can a hand? Amen. That was tagged and pierced through. How can a hand that could not move? Hallelujah. But that wounded hand set me free. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Thank God for that wonderful work. Thank you, Jesus. We bless, we exalt, we honor, we ascribe praises to him and him alone. Thank you very much, sisters, for that touching song. It reminds me that I owe him so much. I owe Jesus so much for setting me free. Praise the name of of Jesus setting me free blessed be the name of Jesus the imagery I have is is one of a, a, a wrestler who is on his back and is in the ring and and the, if somebody is outside of the ring who, who has authority to come in but but can't come in until they touch their hand oh blessed be the name of Jesus and some of us have been on our backs for long thrown down by the enemy hallelujah but but Jesus Christ, he does not have to be asked permission to come into the ring. Amen. He touches down and set us free. Can we give him a tribute of praise? Praise him on the instrument. Praise him. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory. Praise his name. Thank God for the transaction setting me free. Blessed be the name of Jesus because I was bound and chained in the mire of sin but I'm delivered. Hallelujah! Praise him! Praise him! I am delivered. Praise the Lord. Come on! I am delivered. Glory to his name for I was bound and chained in the mire of sin I am delivered praise the Lord I am delivered praise the Lord I am delivered glory to his name oh yes for I was bound and chained in the mire of sin I am delivered transaction he set me free I said he set me free he broke the bars of prison for me someday in glory his face I shall see can somebody worship him glory 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 hallelujah praise him praise him he paid a debt he didn't know I owe a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Hallelujah. Praise him. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We are.
are not good. I am not good. I have failed him so often. Oh my God, but he loves and he's merciful and he's full of compassion. And that is why we are here. Forget about yourself. Concentrate on him and worship him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. It so happened that we are in his presence and others have joined us in his presence. Because can I tell you, with all that we are faced with as a nation, in his presence there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, pleasures forevermore. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. And we need to know true happiness is in the Lord Jesus. And I'm so glad that we have found him. I want to greet everyone. Greetings to Sister Yates, the musicians, and in-house brethren today stream team bless the lord for you those who are online oh my god i know what you're going through just being there and seeing us amen i know what you are feeling i know many brethren are chafing today because they are unable to come into the house of god but god's presence is with you hallelujah and so let some conversion take place convert your bedroom your living room your veranda into god's house today as a matter of fact that is where he must be praise the name of jesus and so glorify god mother father big up jesus son and daughters lift up jesus in your household and bless his name blessed be the name of Jesus we can't contain this which God has given unto us his blessings his faithfulness and so I want to pay special attention to greeting our brethren those from Corn Peace and Water Lane those in Lancaster and Manga Grove Santa Cruz Beckford Crawl Cherry Tree Lane Pass Side those are the churches in Manchester Clarendon and St. Elizabeth and also extend greetings to others across this island, Jamaica, who have joined those who have joined online from the U.S., from Bahamas, from Canada, across the Caribbean, U.K., in Africa, in India, wherever you are on the globe, we come to you with the undiluted word of God today. We are still glad to know that we are on top of our grave we are still in the land of the living. The last time I heard Hezekiah when he was sick unto death and life was extended to him, he said the dead can't praise God. The grave can't celebrate him. Those who go down in the pit have no hope, but the living shall praise him. Can we glorify the Lord? Praise the name of Jesus. I'm glad, amen, for the invitation to come into the house of the Lord. Amen. And we hear that the strict restrictions may get tighter. Because if things don't go down, then they may tighten up. But wherever we will be, we will be praising God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Because the world will not end because of what we are going through. This is just the beginning of sorrows. But the end is not yet. And so you have many persons because of what is happening they have been flying a lot of conspiracy theories, talking about all kind of things that the world will end. Let me tell you something. I'm using the Bible as my barometer, as my matrix, as my compass. And so if what you are saying is not aligned with the Lord, we must ignore it. And so brethren, do not panic. Do not allow what is happening by or what is being said by man to get you flustered. There are many people who are sending a lot of things around, believing things are true. And so fear has taken a hold of so many people. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we bind that. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Jesus is coming again. And so we do not know when. All we need to do is to be ready. Because no man knoweth the hour or the day when the Son of Man shall appear. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. That is scripture for you and I. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we want to be comforted that we are looking to Jesus. Because if our eyes close now, the Lord would have come for us. 
Did you hear me? If we die now, then the Lord comes for us. The next moment when we are awake, it is before him at the judgment seat. And so I ask us to be watchful, be sober. Lest the devil or adversary, he overtake us. I want to share a word with us from the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. Ask my musicians to be alert with me today. I feel the presence of God to sing and dance. 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, hallelujah, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Let us pray. God, we come to you at the throne of grace through Jesus Christ, our king who is alive and well. We thank you for this opportunity to share your word. As for me, O oh God, I am not worthy. I pray now that you will wash, scrub, and make me clean. Open our ears now to your words that are blessed. And may they soothe us, O oh God. May those who are troubled find rest to your word. May the weak become strong. May the disaffection, O oh God, find love. We pray for those who are in the throes of darkness. May your light come upon them. Emblazon your glory upon our hearts just now. As we tell you thanks for your blessings in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The theme today is I want to be just like him. 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 I know that so many persons, whenever someone comes on the scene and they are famous or they do some deed or some heroic act, there is always a tendency for persons to want to be like them. They see them as who they call an icon. And they would want to even name even children after them. We have many persons who were named Romario in the days of Romario the footballer, 1994 Brazil fame. Some named them Ronald Dino Ronaldo. You have Zidane, many teens now have that name because of the, their athletic prowess. Um, Serena Williams named after some persons named their children. I know my mother named one of my um, brother here, sister Serena. Uh, because they did something um, formidable. They did something excellent. And, and so you'd want to adopt their qualities. And so they assume the name. And we even find that persons, because of what persons do, they not just assume the name, but they assume the personality. And so they act like them, they walk like them. I remember in the days of Michael Jackson, when I was just in high school, um, everybody was learning break dance. Everybody trimmed their hair with Tony C. Peak. And then everybody jerry curled. Because Michael Jackson set the trend. And even if he were, was doing things that was not right, they would do it. So many persons broke their hands trying to moonwalk and, and beat it. And, and doing all kind of dance and sending wave on. <laughs> You're laughing at me. I know you used to do it, some of you. But, but they wanted to be like Michael Jackson. Germans wanted to be like him. Everybody, Asians wanted to be like him. There were concerts that he would appear and persons would faint. In numbers because they want to be there to see their icon, their idol. But I want to bring us to a man, hallelujah, who came on this earth. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The promised child. Glory to God. Who came not with fanfare. Hallelujah. Not with 
size of, of stature, but came humble. Blessed be the name of Jesus. When he came, the Bible said, he came unto his own. And they received him not. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I'm not talking about reserving time for him for just bun and cheese. As some are doing now. I'm talking about seeing him for who he is. The king of glory. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in back her. Can Zion praise him? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ was prophesied in Isaiah 9, 6. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Hallelujah. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. The Mighty God. Everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. The government of this world shall be upon his shoulder. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. You know, some government have coined this phrase. I think made famous by one John Wycliffe in the 1300s. When he spoke of the Bible, he said the Bible is the government of the people, for the people, and by the people. And one Abraham Lincoln at Gettysburg made that speech famous, echoing the same thing about democracy but when you look at what leaders model it's a different thing because most leaders come with status most leaders are surrounded by their security detail but when Jesus came down hallelujah born of a virgin blessed be the name of Jesus the Bible said when he was to be born Mary and Joseph, they were moving through to pay taxes. And the baby came and there was no place for Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. When they went to the inn, there was no room in the inn. <laughs> Even today, there is no room for Jesus, the king of glory. Have you any room for Jesus? He who bore your Lord of sin, as he asked a knock and asked permission, sinner, will you let him in? There was no room for Jesus. And so Joseph and Mary, they had to settle, not for studio flat. Amen. Yes, not for apartment complex, not for duplex. They had to go into the barn. Hallelujah. And they found the haystack. Glory to God. Joseph made her comfortable. Let me tell you something. You might not have a palace. But where God put you. Stay comfortable. Be comfortable. Because you got Jesus. And that's enough. Oh Lord. Somebody better worship the Lord. And that's enough. Praise the name of Jesus. She never had excess. No, she means <laughs> hallelujah. But she had Jesus, laid him in the major, cradled him. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The shepherds were told, hallelujah, about Jesus Christ. And they went and followed and saw Jesus. The wise men heard about him way back in history. And they said, We're gonna follow him because we are seen. His star. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And when they came to Jesus, they brought gold. They brought frankincense. They brought myrrh and gave to Jesus. What are you giving to Jesus today? When he grew, hallelujah, question words asked about him. Who is this fellow? Because he's just the carpenter's son. He never had any backings anything behind him oh glory to God his parents never had anything going for them just a carpenter so you, you understand it must be something demeaning must be something low but that's how Jesus is hallelujah he could have come 
with power. He could have come with chariot. He could have come with elegance and in a palace where you have to knock through guards to get to Jesus. But I thank God you don't have to go to no security to see Jesus. Because he opened up his man and said, come unto me. All he who labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. All have access to Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I remember when he was walking one day. Glory to God. There was a man who was born blind. Blind Bartimaeus. Hallelujah. Oh God. He heard that there was a commotion. And he said, who is coming by? Who is passing by? They said, Jesus. And he cried out. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. His disciples said, be quiet. But he cried the more. And when Jesus heard, he said, bring him to me. Bless the Lord. Those who was telling him to be quiet. They said, he called it for thee. Relax now. And when the blind man came in the presence of Jesus. And Jesus said, what is it that you need? Hallelujah. The man was sitting by the wayside begging. But when Jesus asked what he need, the man said, he summed up things. Thank God he never saw anybody around him. Because he may have been put off by who was around him. He said that I may receive my sight. Glory to God. And he got what he requested. Have you any requests that you need today? Tell it to Jesus. I want to be just like him. I want to be just like him. When Jesus came on the scene. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The prophets, the, the Pharisees, and the scribes didn't like what he came to do. Because he said, after discharging the devil... After being tempted. Amen. He went into the temple. And he opened up the book to his eyes. And he began to read. And he declared his manifesto. He flashed it before the leaders. And he said the spirit of the Lord. Is upon me. I wonder if we understand who he is. The anointed one. I want to be just like him. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to bring the good news to preach the gospel oh glory to God to heal the broken hearted to set at liberty the captive oh praise the name of Jesus I want to be just like him glory to God glory to God glory to God church I want to be just like him and so we come to the text for as much than Hebrews 2 as the children are partakers of flesh and blood. He also himself took, likewise took part of the same. Fully human. But yet fully divine. Amen. Because he decided that he had to be by his people. With his people. Oh praise the Lord. And for his people. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so Jesus Christ took on to himself flesh like you and I to death that he might destroy him that had the power of death that is the devil that is what we need to understand as many as received him he gave us power power to conquer the devil power to put him asunder amen don't argue with the devil use the power of God amen and defeat the devil I want to be just like him when the devil tempted him, Jesus Christ said, listen to me. Hallelujah. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. Don't use food and catch me. Amen. You can't use food. Amen. To pacify God's children. I want to be just like him. He conquered the devil. Amen. He delivered those through fear of death that were in bondage. 
Hallelujah. He did not come with regalia. He didn't come as an angel. He never took the form of an angel to be above mankind. Amen. But he humbled himself. Glory to God. It behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, like you and I. What is that saying? The first thing I want to note is that Jesus is compassionate. Jesus is compassionate. And Jude, I think 23, say, having compassion, we make a difference. Jesus is compassionate. Hallelujah. We need to be compassionate. If we are like Jesus, we need to have compassion. Hallelujah. We need to be moved. Amen. With, with mercy. Yes. And go after persons who are failing, who are fainting, who are fearful. Glory to God. He came unto his brethren like unto them that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest. Mercy has rewritten my lives, our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the truth be told is that many times we would have done things that would have caused us to be cut out of his will. But God is merciful. And that is why when he taught his disciples, he said unto them, Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. We must have bowels of mercy. When our brothers and sisters are suffering, we must be moved with compassion to aid them, to help them along the way. We have a world that is so crude. The minute you are on our times, you are forgotten. You are the past. And so nobody calls you again. And nobody invites you anymore. Because you don't have anything that they need. I saw a commentary placed on one of the platforms that persons, they should show compassion while the individual is alive. And do not wait until they are departed. One Saying says, don't scatter roses a song. After I'm gone, give them to me. While I carry on, where I can smell them. Amen. Yes, when I can feel them. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ was full of compassion. I want to be like him. The other thing is his faithfulness. He was faithful. Jesus Christ was faithful. And sometimes... We can't exercise that kind of loyalty, commitment. He knew why he came. A matter of fact, Mary was told what would be the end of her baby. You are going to have a baby. And this baby will save the people from their sin. Meaning he will die for their sins. And yet she, she didn't abort him because she, she knew what it meant, hallelujah, what deliverance would be like. He was faithful to death. Hebrews 12 says, even to the death of the cross. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And when he looked and he realized how painful this would be. And he prayed and he said, Lord, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. But he says, nevertheless, not my will. But thine be done. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. He never quit his mission to loose us from the pain and the penalty of sin. Because he paid for our sins. No wonder this writer said in Romans 6.23, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. In other words, he paid for our sins with his death. Ha -ha, somebody magnify him for that. Oh, what love my God has given me. A love with an endless guarantee. Faithful to death. Sometimes we switch up on Jesus. 
we are faithful when hard times come on us. But when we are, everything is going well. We quit. Hallelujah. We are faithful when health is up. Or when we get sick, we, we, we seek to become faithful. But when health is up, health goes down. When health is up, we switch up on him. But the song says, you can count on me. I'm working for my Savior. Faithful, I will be. I will fight with all my might. You can count on me. Faithful. Hallelujah. Yes, he was the, the high priest. Amen. And you know, a, a, a priest would have to be in his place yearly. The high priest would have had to make the sacrifices for all the people. But we have this high priest. <laughs> Amen. Who did everything right and everything good. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hebrews 4.15 says that we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. Hallelujah. But was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. That brings me to the other point. Apart from his compassionateness and his faithfulness. Yes, he overcame temptation. I want to be just like him. Overcome temptation. Temptation. To be tempted to do what is wrong. To go and act contrary to God's will. That's what temptation is. To fall prey. Or to be led to do something that is wrong. Temptation. When we fall prey, we sin. Jesus was tempted in everything. What, what, what can you think about that you have gone through? You say, boy, it's only me getting these temptations. Jesus Christ was in, tempted in every way. All points. Look at what the devil did. Jesus Christ was hungered. Going without food for 40 days. And he was hungered. And here comes the devil. Come to Jesus. Put in proposal. And say, listen. You have the power, you know. I know you have the power. Uh, and so guess what you're going to do? You see all them stone here? You're going to make bread. You're going to get whole wheat. Yes, you're going to get white loaf. You're going to get bread with raisin. Bread and corn, all kind of things. Hallelujah. But Jesus allowed him to know that's not how it works. Blessed be the name of Jesus. He tried to give power to he who has power. Amen. He tried to elevate Jesus who gives elevation. Nothing that the enemy offers you. Amen. Is real. God has everything already prepared for you. Don't allow the devil to fool you. Don't allow him. You know, Satan is like one who carries around view master. Don't know if you remember those things. View master where you, you have a film. Some of you call it flim. And you put it in there. And then you, you different scene. Hallelujah. And when you bring it up close to the eye. And you see when it drops in it. You know. The little film that you can't make out anything on. When you put it in it. You see some big things. You see ocean. You see trees. You see lion. You never go zoo. And you see zebra. All kind of things are jumping in your eye. What Satan does. Is have a lot of us viewing his own little thing. Magnify some things in our sight. And it rides us. Amen. And we feed our mind with it. And we go astray. But Lord walk beside me. Lead me and guide me. And take all those memories. Work with me. Those memories of sin. All away. Hold me. So close. <laughs> Till I feel. Your heartbeat. 
And don't let me wonder. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hold me so close, Lord. Till I feel your heart beat. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, and don't let, hallelujah, me wander away. Oh, Jesus. Lord, walk beside me. Lead me and guide me, Jesus. And take all those memories, those scenes of sinning. Take them all away. Hold me. <laughs> so close, Lord. Mm, till I feel your heart beat. Hey, hey, hey. And don't let me wander away. Hallelujah. 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 He has upgraded from the view master. He sent your tweet. He sent your Instagram post. He sent your video message. Whoa! <laughs> yes, he magnifies some things and put it up close to you. But you need to send, leave that behind. Hallelujah. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of this world will grow strength in him. The texts of the world, the posts of the world, the tweet of the world, the chats of the world, the messages of the world will grow dim. Worship the Lord with me. Praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. You can overcome too. You can overcome. There's no temptation that has come upon us that can consume us. God, he will make a way to deliver us out of the temptation. He made a way. He made a way. Oh. He made a way. Oh. For Joseph, he made a way. For Daniel, he made a way. He'll make a way for you. He'll make a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sometimes the enemy corner you, trap you, isolate you, and have you soft. But look for the opening and make a run for it. Leave everything behind. Leave everything behind. Make a run for it. Make them call you coward. Let them call you fool. You're just being like Jesus. Jesus didn't stand up and argue with the devil. You know. In Jude 9, he said, The Lord, the ark, Michael, the archangel, when Satan came disputing, he just rebuked him. Never have no long talk. Some of you want to engage in long talk. Amen. When you tell the devil no. Amen. It's no. Don't say call me later. Don't say check me later. Jesus walked from the wilderness and went into the temple and took up the book and opened it up. Praise the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You don't overcome the tempter by joy and cheer. I said, sit here till later. Until later. Call me back later. Text me later. You need to delete and block. Yeah. Aha. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You need to switch network. Praise the Lord. Don't have anything that you're scrolling through and saying memories don't live like people do. Some of us have them back up. <laughs> I, I, my, my wife forced me to watch a show 
one night here because I normally watch my news. But it's called green leaf. Green leaf. Is green leaf or green tea? <laughs> green leaf about church people, you know. My God, I didn't plan this. <laughs> oh, but what? you see anything we see in the week, you know. Watch it, it won't come up here in the spirit of God. So she made me watch Green Leaf. When I was watching Green Leaf, Brother Tyreek, pastors mix up. Pastor along with secretary. And pastor's son who is a pastor have his wife who works with him. And there's this lady who was a pastor's wife working in his office. And he was scrolling through something on his laptop. And she came into the office, drew near him, asked what is it he's looking on. Draw up chair, start looking. Him saying like fool now, he's looking at gift for his wife's birthday. Before him close down the thing and say, excuse me, I'm doing something private. You need to leave the office now. Thank you for what you have brought. Sometimes we're too polite. We're too nicey-nicey. We can't tell people leave. I'm okay walking. I'm okay walking by myself. I'm okay driving by myself. I got Jesus. And that's enough. And that's enough. So Mr. Greenleaf, or whatever his name, Young Greenleaf, allowed her to take him to a jewelry store. And she found the necklace that she liked for Mr. Pastor Greenleaf's wife. And she put on the necklace. She tried on, took a picture, have him drink wine with her. When she got, he got home to Mrs. Young Greenleaf, she asked, what are you drinking? She said, oh, you ask so many questions. And so he popped it out after a time, put it on her neck. Saying she worked so hard, happy birthday. She felt so good because poor little green leaf, so innocent, not suspecting anything. Oh my God. Sometimes people do you in your things, you don't suspect anything. But God is watching, <laughs> not even from a distance, because his eyes are upon his people. Can I talk to the church? When she tried it on, she felt so good. She said, wait for me in the bedroom. His phone vibrated. And when he took out the phone, it was a picture from the secretary. With her, his wife necklace. He looked at it and smiled and put it in his pocket. Sometimes people sending you some things. You look at it and smile. And you put it in your pocket. You need to block it in the name of Jesus. Don't feed your eye. Because if you feed your eye, you will feed your mind. And when you feed your mind, you feed your body. And when you feed your body, you will die. Because lust when it's first conceived bringeth forth sin. And sin when it is finished, it brings forth death. Are you with me, church? I hope we hear what the Spirit is saying today. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because that is what the world has. What is in the world? The loss of the eyes. The pride of life. Almighty God. Overcome temptation. Overcome temptation. Jesus overcame it. Amen. He didn't stand up with the devil. And he had authority to stand up. But he's teaching us a lesson. Don't argue with the devil. Rebuke him and move. Black and go. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Black and go. When, when you are in a game and you get tackled and you evade the tackle. Amen. You know what? What happened to the one who drop? Amen. And sometimes Satan will play a ball with us. You know, and we are juggling with him. I pass it back. Hallelujah. You need to chop him. Go overhead and roll and strike gold for Jesus. Somebody worship the Lord. I'm in a mood today. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jesus. I want to be like him with his compassion. I want to be like him 
Amen. <laughs> with his faithfulness. I want to be like him with his overcoming temptation. And I want to be like him lastly with his humility. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. He was humble. Humble to the death of the cross. Amen. What, what is it? It's elusive to many people. Many of us are servants of God. We are not humble. And so the song says, if I am too high, dear Lord, bring me down. <laughs> we, know, we need to come down sometimes. Amen. Because the meek shall what? Inherit the earth. Blessed be the name of Jesus. He had all power, you know. But he was humble. When Jesus Christ, in his final hour, he could have called legions of angels to destroy the world and everybody that was around him, but he was humble. And when he was there on the cross, they mocked him. <laughs> Amen. Were you there when they mocked him? <laughs> hey! <laughs> yes, they mocked him. Amen. They said, save yourself and us. Oh, but he was hanging there, suspended between two male factors, two thieves. And when they whipped him, oh, they took a thorn of crown and dug it in his head. So blood would have come out for the thorn to stick. It was not anything that anybody would admire. The Bible said there was no beauty in him. Amen. They didn't esteem him. Hallelujah. He was bludgeoned. Oh, but being mocked, he still looked ahead in time. <laughs> and when he was on the cross, well, hey, you and you and you, sons and daughters, lift up your hands. Type glory in the chat. You are in his mind. Amen. Humble himself to the death of the cross. He cried out. He who made rivers. He said, I thirst. Oh, he made a sea. He cried, I thirst. The king of all ages. They didn't give him any water. They gave him vinegar. Oh. Yes, but he humbled himself. He said, Lord, 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 why hast thou forsaken me? Are you committed? How committed are you? Amen. Yes, in Matthew 16, 24, he says, if you, daughter, if you, my son, if you come after me, deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow me, follow me. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, took upon him the form of a servant uh, because them ordering him around you know they said walk with the cross Jesus walk with the cross sometimes people start ordering you around and you feel away because you're not used to being not just instructed but to be told what to do and demanded to do something but he humbled himself and he made himself in the likeness of men like you and I. Amen. I'm glad that he can identify with me. I'm glad he's touched with the feeling of my infirmities. Amen. My weakness. <laughs> my sickness. My failings. My faintings. He's touched. Hallelujah. When we come to the cliffhanger, you need to know who you are. We need to know who we are. Say, I know who I am. 
I know who I am. Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> we need to know who we are. <laughs> if anybody asks you who you are, you remember when we were in, in school <laughs> at sport day and those in the row house <laughs> and Pazzi the loser. <laughs> That's Glenmuir for me. <laughs> and Murad and Gibson. <laughs> but they used to sing. And they say, who you are? And we tell them, we are the greatest. <laughs> great, great, greatest. Hi, hi. <laughs> we need to tell people who we are. That we are a chosen generation called for to show his excellence. You're not hearing me, church of God. You are royal priesthood. Peculiar people, holy nation. Yes, called for to show forth the praise of God Almighty. You are no buck shuffler. You are royal. So John wrote, beloved, beloved. Am I talking to myself? Beloved, <laughs> now are we the sons of God. <laughs> and it does not yet appear. Right now, it don't look that way. What we shall be. Amen. But we know that when he shall appear. Oh my God, somebody get excited. Daughters of Zion, sons of God, get excited. We shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you may be confined right now. In a place and a space that you're not comfortable in. You may be in a spot of bother. But beloved, beloved, no are the sons of God. But it does not yet appear what we shall be. Hallelujah. But we know. Do you know? Help me, help me, help me. But we know. Hallelujah. When he shall appear. Hey, hallelujah. Yes, we know. Hallelujah. When we shall appear. Oh, glory. We shall be like him. Jesus. We shall be like him. We shall see him as he is. Oh, beloved, beloved, now are the sons of God, but it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know when we shall appear. Yes, we know. When he shall appear, we shall be like him. We shall be like him. We shall see him as he is. Oh, beloved, beloved, now are the sons of God. But it does not yet appear what it shall be. But we know when he shall appear. Yes, we know, yes, we know when he shall appear. We shall be like him. Be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Oh, beloved, beloved. Now are the sons of God, but it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know, yes, we know when he shall appear. Yes, we know when 
money shall appear. We shall be like it. We shall be like it. We shall see him as he is. Oh, beloved, beloved, know you are the sons of God, but it does not yet appear what we shall. Yes, we know, yes, we know when he shall appear, we shall be like him. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we shall see him as he is. Oh, beloved, beloved, now are the sons of God, but it does not yet what we shall be, but we know when he shall appear, yes we know when he shall appear, we shall be like it, we shall be like it, we shall see compassion humility he has that faithfulness that's him overcoming temptation bless the Lord I want to be like him I want to be just like him oh praise the name of Jesus I want to be faithful till, till death faithful to the end oh blessed be the name of Jesus because if I stay faithful when he comes, I'll be called. Come, he blessed. Come and enter into what I prepared for thee. Enter into the joy of thy father. Hallelujah. For those who are backling, and those of you who feel as if you are been done in by life's backers. Let me tell you something. You have something to look forward to. You have somewhere to look forward to. That God himself, amen, will be there to welcome you. Yes. He'll be there to give you solace. To give you comfort. And as he overcame, you too will overcome. Will overcome rather. And so he says, by the word of your testimonies <laughs> and the blood of the lamb you shall overcome the evil one the enemy yes satan his plan is for us to have a spirit of defeatism but thank god we are more than conquerors hallelujah you didn't hear me we are more than conquerors through he who love us. And so we are going to stay faithful because our God is faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He has done everything. He has already won. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so as I close... I want you to know that the way is already paved. The victory is won. Amen. Jesus Christ, the victor. And so we're going to do that song. I think it was done earlier. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me the tithe and offering at this time will be sent in and those who are online yes you can participate you may participate um, you may send your tithe and offering to your local assembly 
If you are not attached to a church, we welcome you sowing by faith, placing in the hands of God for his work that must go on even in these times of isolation, of curfew, of pandemic, whatever you call it. You can email us or call and you will be guided as to how to submit your tithes and your offering to God. May God bless you. May prosper you. While we do that, we ask you to send in your prayer request. Amen. We're going to pray the prayer of faith. Type your prayer request to us. We will not ignore your request and we will seek to place you before God and your circumstances throughout this week and throughout yes in this ministry hallelujah hallelujah blessed be the name of Jesus praise his name
early, Lord, but enter in, Lord, enter in, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord, oh, yes, Lord, oh, yes, Lord. Fill us up, Lord, consuming fire, sweet perfume. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, okay. Send your power upon us. Free 
Revival, revival, revival. Revival, revival, revival. Revival, revival. Oh, holy, holy ghost. Jesus. Hallelujah. Revival comes from the hey Lord Jesus. <laughs> Say, somebody again. I want to see it for myself again. This is special. Church, this is special. Daughters, this is special. Sons, this is special. This is for you. This is for you. This is for me. Hallelujah. Empowering. Spirit of God is empowering. Spirit of God is consoling. Hallelujah. Spirit of God is repairing. Amen. Repairing. Spirit of God is, is healing. Hallelujah. Spirit of God is healing. Amen. Healing hurt souls. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, he's doing his work now. He's doing his transformative work. Allow him to work upon you. Let go and let God. 
This is holy time, holy time, holy time to those who are shackled. Holy time, yes, for the shackles to be broken. Bless the Lord. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray also for those whose prayer requests have been received. Invite you to come forward, Sister Shaw, with the request. We make a special prayer. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for reclamation, restoration. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to pray that God do a work today amongst the church of God, amongst his people. Amen. Bless the name of God. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Beverly Henderson. God to strengthen her family as they are becoming weaker. Marcia Douglas is also seeking prayer requests. Sister Camille Gale is requesting prayer for her family. Special prayer request for my four brothers and sisters that they will recommit their life to God and return to the fold. Lorraine Scott is asking for prayer for Donna Scott for God to strengthen her and speed up her deliverance. Prayer request for Latoya to request prayer for herself and her mother. Sister Wilson is also requesting prayer for her family. Sister McDonald is asking for prayer for herself and her family. Joan Simpson asking for continuous prayer for her sister Maisie Morris as she is experiencing lots of health issues. Prayer request also for the Cooper family that sister Cooper and brother Cooper. Keisha Douglas is also seeking prayer for her head. Aldith Anderson is requesting prayer for her children that they will not that they will find their way back to the church so their children can walk in their footsteps. Claudia All Simpson is requesting prayer for herself and family. Keisha Brown asking for prayer for herself and two daughters. Sister Joy Clark is also seeking prayer. Tamer Richard seeking prayer for the Richard family. Sister Evelyn Messam is seeking prayer for herself and her family. Sister Nadine Dawes is also seeking prayer for herself as she's experiencing dizziness. Gwendolyn Smith is seeking prayer for Nikisha. Sister Georgette Powell Mitchell is seeking prayer for her family. Prayer also coming in from Edda Scott, prayer for her daughter who's having cycling. Prayer for also Jardine. Reporting of this last week, this time, my mom and I were in the hospital, but we have prayed and we have won the victory. The victory, the victory, Jesus. This is coming in from Latoya. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. We're going to lift our faith now, church. We're going to activate our faith now. Amen. And that which God has done, the cap will be placed on it. Stand with me. Amen. Where you are. Amen. I ask you to hold your device. Amen. Hallelujah. Or just be penitent before it now. Hallelujah. Because there's no distance for my God to reach. Amen. Wherever you are, he will reach you and minister to you even now. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Almighty God and our Holy Father, we bow in the esteemed presence of Jesus Christ, the mighty Lord, King Supreme, who was and is and is to come, our dearest, our closest. We bow, O oh God, acknowledging your power, your majesty, your unequal, O oh Lord, with capacity to deliver. There is none who could have saved us from sin none who could have redeemed us only you are God and so this hour we pause 
Amen. To again repose confidence and tell you how we love you, how we adore you, how we exalt you. Amen. We who were sinful, oh God, we were undone and lost. You came and rescued us just in time. Thank you for the transaction that was wrought at Calvary's cross. Amen. Where you took our sins, you took our burdens, and you liberated us. And so here we are, Lord. We confess our sins. You who knows all things, we come and openly acknowledge that we have not done well. We have not served well. But in spite of all of that, you have graced us with your mercies. Great is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. To us, God, your children. Lord God, we thank you for the access that we have and still do. To come to you as you so bid. And so, Lord, as we have lifted you up in worship. Amen. We have heard your sweet words. God, how you came. Yes, Lord, from your place of glory came and humbled yourself to suffer grief. You left your crown, oh God, to get cruelty meted out to you. Lord, you got beaten up, suffered at the hands of wicked men just to free us and to give us liberty. We thank you for that transaction that you did, oh God. You have won the victory. Amen. You have won it all for us. And so, Lord, we give you thanks. May we walk as you did, with compassion for our fellow men. O oh God, show in faith, in humility, O oh God, and may we walk as overcomers, because you have given us the power to overcome. Yes, Lord, we know death could not hold you down. You triumphed over death. Death died because of your powerful hand. And so we too, amen, have the power over death and the grave because of you. Oh Lord, now we place before you the requests that have come, that have been submitted. Lord, thou knowest every situation. And you are where they, they are right now. God, there are some who are in bondage. Spirit of bondage, we break you. We break you. We break you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we speak liberty. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, amen, that those spirit of depression, oh God, will repeal. Yes, Lord. And your power will be upon your people. Because you came to set the captive free. Lord God, there are homes, oh God, of unhappiness. Where there is no peace. There is no community. There is no, oh God, togetherness. Mighty God, we pray that you will go there. Yes, Lord, and allow the veil to be lifted from the eyes of your people. And allow them to see each man as brother. Amen. And to embrace and look beyond their differences. Oh God, we pray against the spirit of spitefulness. Yes, Lord, that, that is raging. Oh God, we ask that your people, amen, will look beyond each other's faults. Forgive one another. And allow brother, they love to flow. Those who are ill, Lord, they are those who need you, the great physician now. Amen. They are ailments, back pain, dizziness. Amen. All kind of weaknesses in the body. But your stripes are still penetrating. Amen. May your stripes heal, oh God. Those, God, painful headaches. Oh, yes, Lord. Back aches. By your stripes, we proclaim healing in the name of Jesus. Oh God, the limbs that are not functioning the way they are to. Oh Jesus, circulatory organs that are not functioning the way they are to. We pray now, oh God, that you will let it work. You made the body and so you are able to mend it. 
And so we ask today that you will do a transformative work and allow your people to be free. Oh God, those, oh Lord, who need special delivery, those who are still in sin, amen, those who are bound, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, Aldith Anderson has asked for her children to know you, and other family members need to know you, and the power that lies in you. I pray, God, that there will be admission, acknowledgement of sins, repentance, and an embrace of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, what you have in store for us, we have not even seen it. Eyes have not seen it. Ears have not heard it. What you have prepared for us, your people. God, I pray that there will be an awakening now and we will turn to you. Remember Natalie Dawkins' family now. That teacher, oh Lord, who has not been seen for days. Visit her family. Extend your hand of comfort to them. Give them strength, O oh God, in this their time of despondency. We pray, O oh God, that other families that are troubled, that are mourning the loss of their loved one, that are anxiously awaiting the return of their loved ones, we pray that you will visit with them today. We pray that you will expose the den of evil in our land will expose murderers, will expose kidnappers. May they be frozen by your mighty hand. May they know, oh God, that no bleach can erase the blood stain. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. There is no safe haven that they can hide because your hand will snatch them. We ask by faith, oh God, that you will go where they are and expose them for their evil deeds. Take back our land, O oh God. Govern our country one more time. May leaders find it in themselves to bow down and be penitent and acknowledge their evil. May we all as people bow down before you and repent. God, you have great things that we will obtain. If we only turn from sin and embrace salvation. Thank you for this opportunity again you have given us to worship. Oh Lord, we know how some are feeling now. Having not been able to join in person. But may they understand, oh God, that you are dynamic. And you will meet them where they are. Even as you have done today. And so Lord, that soul that is receiving Amen. Salvation now, we bless you for him, for her. That soul that is receiving deliverance, we bless you for him, for her. That soul that is receiving healing, we bless you for him, for her. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, do your mighty work amongst your people. And for those of us who are just a sample of the great kingdom of God, of your elect from across this world. We ask that you will transmit your anointing upon us. Bless all ministering servants who assembled in Zion today. Bequeath to them now your peace, your power, amen, and your prosperity to all of Zion's children, O oh God. We ask that they will understand that that which they are doing, O oh God, will be counted by you. Amen. And they will be favorably rewarded when you shall return. We ask you to strengthen us, even in these times of uncertainty. May as a church, O oh God, we be up and doing. May we get excited, O oh God, to spread the gospel news, the good news of your imminent return. Yes, Lord, and may we await with expectation, watching Oh God, because the end is nigh. Have thine own way. Be glorified. Be exalted. Be lifted on high. Because we look to you evermore. Saying thanks for your many blessings. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Bless the Lord, church. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, how blessed we have been. Oh, how marvelous he has been to us. I want to give God thanks for you brethren who here today in person, online, our stream team. And I must say they have their permit. You at home, you have your permit too. They have their permit, however, to be here. And they'll be getting home by four. They won't have to rush today. They won't have to fly low today. Because time is on their side. But we give God thanks. Uh, we want to give God thanks for the wonderful job the praise team did. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. For our musicians, bless the Lord for them. Um, you would have believed that we had uh, a host of people here today with what we experienced. And so, wherever two or three gather together touching anything concerning him, he's in the midst. And how blessed we were. Thank God for Sister Yates also, also her ministry today. For Sister Clark welcomed us. Brother Ricardo who read the scripture. Sister Shaw and Cooper who led us with streaming. Our technical team, we really bless God for you. And um, what you have been doing to enhance this ministry that is bigger than us. Um, for those of you who have been touched by God and you're not yet saved, I want to welcome you to Jesus. I want you to find Jesus. If you're in Jamaica, you may make contact with us. Our numbers, our numbers there an email. It's, it's right there on uh, the screen. You may email us and you may call us. We are more than willing to get in touch with you, pray with you, and lead you to the Lord. We'll direct you to where you may find one of our assemblies. If you are not close by, if you're able to be here, however, or make contact with me, yes, we will make the arrangement to confirm you in the body of Christ. Yes, the curfew will not stop the baptism. Amen? It will not stop the baptism. So please, we want to allow you to know that the kingdom of God is still increasing. So come on in. Come on into the body of Jesus Christ and be just like him. For those who are overseas, we will point you also to Christ Jesus. We'll work with you, pray with you, and lead you to the master's table. Thank you for joining today. Remember to send the link to your friends, your loved ones, your families. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, God has blessed you. So I pray that you will subscribe and encourage others to subscribe as the ministry reaches further and we continue to take the good news across um, the world. Um, tomorrow morning we'll be having our early morning prayer meeting. Looking forward to that. Monday is a regular day for us. It's just that it's a holiday for others. It's a regular day and we have to be home too. But we'll still have coverage at noon on Monday, uh, Tuesday, Bible studies. Um, last night, I must talk about it last night, we had a wonderful lesson study. As for those who were on, I know you enjoyed it. We started a new quarter a faithful disciple following the master with Peter and last night's lesson, a disciple's calling and it was so powerful, so impactful. We invite you to join us. Also, we will make available all the links for our different services because the truth is we are even busier now than we were before. Yes, yes. And so COVID has presented an opportunity for us to work full time. I work more for Jesus Christ. And so I, I'm glad that we are up and doing about the master's business. I want to also just um, send condolences to 
um, Sister Bridget Scott and her daughter and the wider church family in Crescent on the passing of her husband, um, Jeffrey Scott. After ailing for a number of years, um, he passed and we are just saying, be strong, sister, sister Bridget, be strong. I know how painful it must be for you. I know how hurt you must be and how, you know, dumbstruck you must be. Uh, but God will bear you up. We thank God for the service. He gave to the Lord, to the body of Christ, that he found Jesus Christ. And so we anticipate that when the Lord will return, he too will be called forth in the first resurrection, in that great getting up morning. So be strong. And uh, on behalf of my family and the church family, and in the conference, the Church of God, Seventh-day Jamaica Conference, um, I want to extend our condolences and let you know that we'll be praying for you. We'll be calling you. We know the challenge in seeing persons face to face now. But we'll be reaching out. Yes, because we must have compassion as Jesus demonstrated. And so, may you take the final blessing now. May the good Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. And until next Sabbath, God be with you. Peace. Shalom. God bless you all. Amen.